This is the Novus N322. Um, when you purchase this controller, it's a digital thermostat, you specify um, the number of relay outputs. So you can see here, it's an N322, which means it's got output one, a larger relay, obviously can switch more current potentially, and output two. The other thing that's specified on purchase is the sensor type. So this one here is a PT100. Now the main purpose of this video is just to show you the different ways of connecting a PT100 because we do have a few customers who uh, struggle with the guidance and sometimes it's not particularly clear. Just going to have a quick look in the quick guide. This is what comes with the instrument itself. It tells you here that PT100 three wire for two wire connections, terminals 11 and 13 must be interconnected. So the question here is where to connect. So here we have 11, 12 and 13. And if you can see that, they are labeled B as two outers and A in the middle. And the purpose of the three wire really is to compensate for the cable length. So where you have a long cable length, obviously it can add to the resistance and potentially give you a false reading. So the majority of Novus uh, controllers and instruments allow for this third wire, um, which will basically subtract the cable length from the resistance and give you a more accurate value. Um, but it is possible to actually use these instruments with a two wire sensor. Um, and in a lot of applications, that's absolutely fine. Short cable runs and not much sort of EMI or noise in the environment. So we're just gonna show you this one powered up now. As you can see, it's reading the current temperature. And if we have a quick look on the back, just to double check, what we tend to do is label these up for our customers to make life a little bit simpler. But we've got a B, we've got an A, and we've got another B. And that corresponds with the markings on the rear of the controller. Now, if we have a look at this other one here, we've wired this one up for two wire. As you can see, we're missing the blue here. And we've put in the link across Otherwise, we get a not particularly good occurrence, which is we won't read anything at all with a two-wire connection, which is what we're going to demonstrate now. So, let's remove that. Now, we have these three arrows. So, this is what you don't want. But by making sure you've got a cable in all three of those terminals, 11, 12 and 13, with the two methods that I've just shown you, you'll be absolutely fine.